Kobe Bryant, killed today in a helicopter crash in Southern California. The retired Los Angeles Lakers star and his 13-year-old daughter among nine victims after that chopper went down and ignited near Calabasas, California. Video from the immediate aftermath showing a fire in the hills as first responders rushed to the scene and from the sky, a vast debris field, the wreckage still smoldering late today. The news sending shockwaves all around the world and fans in Los Angeles tonight streaming to the Staples Center where Brian helped win five championships for the Lakers. We will have much more of that reaction. So in vanity, this is the year of the death of giants. This decade will be a decade of the death of giants. The Lord said, especially beginning this month, February and March, all the way to July. This is the year that God is shifting history. History is being made right now as I'm talking to you. There will be death of giants by the birth of giants. Mantles are getting ready to be passed. Some giants are in the way. And I want to say prophetically, any giant that is watching me right now, older giants even if you're a younger giant i want to say to you that this is the hour that you begin to groom a company of people to come behind you i'm not talking many giants will lose their life not so much because it's their time to go or to die but because they will not pass the mantle and watch somebody else carry it some giants have to die some giants are dying all because because they will not pass the mantle or watch another person carry the mantle you don't have to die you don't amen you could go out with grace so the spirit of god dealt with me and says and this decade is the year of the decade of giants that giants are going to be born and giants are going to die he said he said this year will be a year of discipline that we shall we have to give ourselves to discipline and prayer but it's also a year of sanctification i'm gonna let you know prophetically as i, I get ready to flow in the prophetic anointing that this year god said it's going to be listen i had a dream last night and um a basketball prayer let's i want us to pray for chris uh chris paul and in the dream he got into an accident a very bad accident and he killed two people in the vision that i had this morning and i saw blood leaking everywhere and i began to wage war for him i began to pray so let's keep that basketball player on uh, chris paul i think he played for okc he got into a very car a, a car accident and two people were killed and i saw that he was going to prison so let's keep him in prayer the lord said to me after after, after i saw the blood because i was speaking to my brother dean and i told him about the about the vision and as i got in my car the lord says son this is the year it might be blood everywhere if people do not walk into sanctification i, I, I sense a shift that is happening right now that many of you are very hungry for god and this year is going to be a massive flood this year because i saw water everywhere and i want to say this to you prophetically i also see here about shaga baha i see a lot of situations that is getting ready to happen to a lot of athletes and also god showed me that he's getting ready to use i want us i want i want i want us to begin to pray for our athletes and not indulge and their lifestyle and support their lifestyle many christians many of us we just we don't we don't rebuke our athletes we don't we don't tell them how to live and things like that and i used to be a former athlete you know and the lord said that son this is the year is going to be a shift in the life of a lot of athletes and i saw in that vision that chris paul got into the accident and two people died and it was a very tough case it was as if the time that uh, Michael Vick got into that trouble and he was all over the news So let's keep these people in prayer Am I speaking to somebody right now?